Okay, so let's push this along a little bit again. We've done the morph and the solid element operator for the cut, cutting into this end of the site. We're going to repeat that process again now, do another morph, and make a morph come out this side that will end up being the fill, which we'll add onto that, that um, instead of subtracting. So, I'll take you through that again. First of all, before you do, so that we can separate the different morphs, go into your layer uh, settings, so Control L, or that button down the bottom there, find the layer you made before called Morph Site, and change it, change its name to Morph Site Cut. And when you've got Morph Site Cut, just um, Control C that text and create a new layer and call that new layer name Morph Site Fill. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to swipe that text, Control C, new layer, Control V, change the word cut to fill. Okay, so then you'll have a layer called Morph Site Cut and Morph Site Fill. Okay. So then what we're going to do is another morph. Go into the morph tool, change the layer now to morph site fill, and all your other settings should still be the same. We're going to do a rectangular geometry method. Um, we're doing it. Uh, we're in AHD, that's right, we're in AHD, so we're going to do it 9300 above AHD. And we're going to create this morph exactly the same shape that we did before. Uh, you know, something didn't happen there for me, I'll just swap out of that. This intersection here. Add it to this intersection here. So we've created that morph shape again. We're going to 3D, and we'll have a look at it. Okay, now you might not be able to see it at the moment, so just set your layers up so you can see it. So Control A, to, Control L to bring up your layer dialog box. And what we'll want here is the layer that you just used, Morph Site Fill, you want that turned on and leave Morph Site Cut turned off. And click OK. And at the same time, I think click on this mesh here, right click, Layer, Hide Layer. So you're then left on the screen with just this morph shown, this flat rectangular plane. So you're going to click on that, Morph. Click on it again to get the pet tool, making sure you're in push pull. This time you're going to push pull that downwards and type 1000. And press enter. Same as we did before, and this time it's all going to go from the bottom edge. So this bottom edge this time, because this is fill, we want to stretch. If you've got the vertical plane happening for yourself, go and find this plane tool and change to horizontal because we want to pull this plane horizontally out 20 meters. In effect, what we're doing is, uh, I don't think I did that right, I think I better control Z and do that again. Click on this edge, we want it to go horizontally, so there's a plane tool here, I can change to horizontal, coming out in this direction, 20,000. a bit more like what I was expecting. So in effect we're creating sloping surfaces that have a have a slope of 1 in 20. So I'm going to do that again to this direction. I've got the vertical plane happening so I need to click on that plane tool and change it to horizontal. And out in this direction, 20. Right, so there's my fill shape. So I can bring the layers back on again. The layer that I want to turn back on will be morph, uh, sorry, mesh site. Turn that one back on. And click OK. Now, we're not quite ready to add that fill to this site because we've got these edges of the morph 
too far out past the site. We need to pull them back in a little bit. So what I'm going to do is click on the, this the grey area of the morph there. Click on the edge as if I'm going to stretch it in again, but that will change the slope. So if I click on the plane tool here and click pick plane and then pick that same plane that we're working on there, that means then that we're going to slope up in that plane slope and not change the slope of the land. And you can sort of see that that's working correctly because if you look in this corner, the shape of the hip, I'm in this corner around here, you look at the shape of the hip line, you can see as you're moving now, the shape of that hip line doesn't change. That's telling you that the slope isn't changing. If the shape of that hip line is not changing, all you're doing is pulling the edge up in that slope. So I want you to pull it up until it disappears completely into the site mesh. And then we're going to do the same on this edge. We'll need to find the plane tool. There it is there for me. Right there. Click on that. Pick a plane. Pick that plane that we're working on and pull that edge up the ridge, up the hip until it disappears into the site. Then we're in a position to do solid element operators. So the same as we did last time, we're clicking on the mesh, we go get target element, then we click on the morph, get operator element, change the operation to addition, and then execute. Okay, so to visualize whether that's worked correctly now, go down to your layers, and we want to turn morph site cut, morph site fill off as well as um, mesh and mesh site on. In fact, if we go back to show and unlock all and hide morph site cut as well under show and unlock all and update, so morph site cut and morph site fill will be hidden. In show and unlock all. When you go OK, when you got show and unlock all on now, you'll know that those morphs are hidden. And now you're just left with the fill adding on to the site and the cut taking away from the site. So we've ended up with a flat platform to work on. Another way of visualizing that would be to, if I could just go back to AHD for a moment. Um, the sections, so we've got one section cutting across section 01, cutting across in that direction. So I'll just view section 01, double click that, and we can see now that we've got this flat, flat, flat amount of fill that's been built up across section 01, and then it slopes down until it hits the topography there. Same with section 02. We've got the flat platform that we're going to build on and then it comes and slopes back up to that point. Okay, so that's another good point to make a save. Save your project, we'll stop the recording and come back a little while later.